So, God, I look really great. I'm pale today. Holy smokes. Got my co-pilot. So, it feels like forever since I've been to the shop. It's been almost a week. last week that we have at the shop. Oh, well, I'm feeling better, by the way. Uh, my back is still strained a bit, but I've got another chiropractor appointment tomorrow, and uh, hopefully that will be it for that. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Just in time. Yeah, so this is the last week. This weekend is the last weekend that the shop will be open. And then we get everything packed up. So, wow. It's, I've had such a busy week, like with my back being out and my daughter coming. She's still here right now. Um, her and my grandson are here. We've been having such a good time. Holy cow. Uh, it's one of those, you know, grandma puts her pain on the back burner, right? When when the grandkids here, you just, you just do what you gotta do, right? Um, <clears throat> so, I, uh, yeah, so I'm, um, sorry, I'm just trying to, change lanes here so yeah I we went to as you saw in the last video we went took the, the boys to um, the fair the VIX fair that was here uh, I didn't even know what was going on George told me and um, <clears throat> so we took them to that they had a good time there was a dog show and everything there they weren't too interested in that <sighs> We were more interested. Uh, they got to go on their first rides. They had their first corn dog. They had, oh, they were in the bouncy castle. Mason didn't quite know what to do in the bouncy castle. Axel was kind of wobbly. He was just like, whoa, what am I supposed to do? And then they started kind of getting into it. Um, they, were, they were having more fun playing peekaboo with Michelle than anything, but. Um, they didn't quite know how to feel about the rides, uh, but they got their experience. But again, I think moms had more of a good time than the kids did. So, um, I was just the third wheel that kind of tagged along <laughs> me and limping along with my back. Um, but it was so much fun watching the boys interacting with each other because they don't get to see each other very often, but now the girls are starting to get them together more. Uh, and they're, they're figuring it out. So that's good. Um, and George and I went to the wedding. When we came back, uh, Michelle, or, uh, Tia and I, Tia found out that there was a uh, new play place in our mall. I had no idea it was there. And it was kind of similar to the one that we went to in Coquitlam a while ago. So Tia was like, do you want to go? And I'm like, well, absolutely. So we took Axel there and he ran his little butt off and he was going up and down and all around. And then Tia took him on a slide. It was one of those tube slides that you can't see where you're going. Well, it wasn't a very big slide, but I guess the one slide, she went on the hardest slide and she went. it went down and a dip and you could hear her scream. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, did Axel hurt himself? Because when, when they came out, Axel started crying. I was like, oh my God, what happened? She says, I think I scared him when I screamed. She says, but you know, uh, so he was just, he was not happy. 
So um, the second time that she went, same thing, except she didn't scream this time, but he came out crying. So I think the fact that he couldn't see where they were going freaked him right out. So I got a video clip of these two times. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh. So we ended up taking him down some other slides that were like open and he's, I don't think he's a slide fan. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Ready? Ready, set, go. Woo! Wow! <laughs> was that more fun? <laughs> Ready? Good? Yep. <laughs> no! Okay. You're okay. So yeah, I don't think I think he likes he's like grandma. He doesn't like his feet off the ground like that. Uh so um so yeah, no more slides. <laughs> Tilly's much older. So but he had so much fun. And then they had claw machines. And so of course grandma had to go and get some tokens and uh, I had absolutely no luck, almost, but no luck. Tia, right off the hop, got him a teddy bear. I was like, yes! So, yeah, so he, she got, um, he got his first teddy bear prize from mom, which I think was perfect. So, yeah, so that was fun. And today is my first day back at work, and it just feels like a long time. So... It's gonna be weird going in there. I think Bailey misses it. Um, and, uh, you know, Axel, of course, has been feeding Bailey most of his food and stuff that he shouldn't be feeding her, I guess. And so her tummy's not, not feeling well. Her tummy's really tight and she's been overeating and, um, but they've been having a good time together. He, Axel's actually, been really good with her. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? I'm not petting you. So, anyways, we're about to go to Tim Hortons and get her treat, and uh, I'll be back. And here we are, <laughs> back at the grind. It is dead, 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 dead. <laughs> but that's okay. So, what am I working on? Um, well, I was working on Chris's sweater, which I can't show you because she doesn't want to see what it is. I'm a little concerned about it. Um, well, number one, I can't find or don't have, God, my hair is a mess, um, one of the yarns that I used on it. I ran out of the one yarn, and I still have half the sweater to do. So I ordered some more from Michael's. I'm just, they didn't have any in store, so I have, I'm having it shipped to me. I don't know how long that's gonna take, a few days anyway. Um, so I'm going back to working on the first sweater that I was going to be making her. Well, I guess I don't, I don't think, maybe did I talk to you guys about that. The sweater that I was making her, I found out that I can't send to her because I totally forgot that she's moved to Florida. So the sweater is too heavy. So I decided, okay, pivot. I'm going to make her another sweater. So I started making it for her. And I was a fair way into it when she finally got back to me with her measurements. I'm really concerned that it's going to be too long, to be honest. It's a cardigan. Um, so, yeah, I, she's five foot two. Uh, I'm 
I mean, it may end up being a duster on her. <laughs> so it is what it is. I mean, if it doesn't fit her, she can gift it to somebody else, I guess. Um, yeah, a little concerned about that. But uh, I'll just keep trying to make sweaters for her <laughs> until I get it right. <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, I can't work on that until I get the yarn again um, from Michael. So I'm going back to working on the first sweater. <clears throat> or so that I can sell that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, good stuff all over the place. I'm working on the arms right now. So, yeah, I'm working on this one. Um, so, yeah. I, um, yeah, I got part of the sweater, or part of the sleeve done on the first, no, I got this first sleeve done. Now I'm working on the second sleeve. So, yeah. Oh, oops. <clears throat> so I am looking around this place and I'm thinking, holy cats. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, um, yeah, I don't know. I ordered some big, uh, what are they called? Um, moving bags, you know, like clothing, moving, cl blanket moving bags or whatever. I ordered six of them. They just came. And that's what I'm going to be putting all of the leftover yarn and clothing and stuff in. So, um, it, on Monday and Tuesday, I think it, George said, uh, those are the days that we're going to be moving the shop. That's like a few days away, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to freak out a little bit. <laughs> so. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I don't know how long Tia's staying. Um, don't know if she's staying long enough to help us with this or not, but I mean, she's going to have Axel, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to work out, but yeah, I mean, I want to get going on some of this stuff, right? Like I want to start packing some stuff up, but I can't. Number one, I can't do it by myself because of my back. Um, but number two... I want to try and sell as much as I can. Being closed this last week probably didn't do me any favors because everybody thinks I'm closed completely, I think. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I might be wasting my time being here right now. So, I woke up this morning, my throat was sore. I don't know if that, if I was snoring last night with my mouth open or if I caught something from the kid's place. So, <clears throat> we'll see. All right, I'm going to go work on this. Hi, you're in a beast. <clears throat> well, update. I have the flu. <clears throat> I woke up at 2.30 last night and I had the chills really bad. And then I had the sweats, so obviously I had a fever. My throat's really sore. It's not COVID. I just found out that um, George caught, taught, ugh, talked to his sister that got married. Eight people are down with the flu. One guy has a fever of 104. <clears throat> so I caught whatever was going around there. Yay. Um, so far, George is fine. Um, I'm keeping Tia and me, um, my grandson at an arm's length. I'm in the bedroom. They're in the living room. <laughs> Axel keeps coming to the door and looking in like, 
Are you are you okay? <laughs> like, oh I'm praying that they don't get this. Um I don't understand what's happening. I am so choked. <clears throat> you know, I've been off on a week off of work with my back and now this. I'm so <clears throat> I better get better soon because otherwise I won't be able to get my surgery a part of me is sitting there wondering is this all happening because I shouldn't be getting the surgery um, yeah, I don't know I'm, I'm just not happy so <clears throat> I'm going to sit here watch videos, and try and finish the sweater um, that I was supposed to give Chris, but I'm not giving Chris now. <clears throat> I can't, um, I can't do her sweater until my package comes from Michael's, which I'm hoping is going to be here soon. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. God, look how gray I am. Holy crap. <clears throat> so Tia's got to take care of me today. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <sighs> FML. <laughs> Jeez. I tell you, I'm just, I don't know. I have to get better because I've got shit to do. You know? <clears throat> so... Anyway, I'm taking Tylenol cold and flu right now. Because <clears throat> Tylenol is the only stuff I can take because I'm on the blood thinners. But, yeah. So, yay me. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, Arnabies. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I just talked to... I'm, my voice is a mess, sorry. <clears throat> I just talked to the anesthesiast and they're going to push my surgery because I'm sick. Um, so they're going to wait a couple of extra weeks just to make sure that I'm okay. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So I guess I can relax a little bit. <clears throat> it's not going to be so much of a cluster at the end of the month. Um, I could take my time um, closing the shop now, I guess. Um, but, yeah, a little ticked off, but <clears throat> it, everything happens for a reason. And, um, yeah, but in the meantime, um, I'm getting this one sweater done, uh, this one, I just have a little bit of the one cuff left to do, oops, sorry, <clears throat> uh, and then it's finished. Um, I just got my order in from Michael's, so now I can finish Chris's sweater. Um, and I've got a really cute video clip of Axel opening up my my package. So I'll put that in here. Go ahead. Open. Open the box. Open the box. Yeah, good job. Oh my gosh, what is that? Yeah. What is that? Oh. There you go. Oh. That thing is huge. <laughs> what else is in there? 
Oh, thank you. Another one. Hey. So that was totally adorable. He ran off to come and bring Gigi the yarn. Um, <laughs> that's so cute. He came running in here with the big thing of yarn. I mean, the thing is almost as big as he is. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it was so cute. He was so proud of himself. So now I've got that. And um, I can finish her sweater. So I'll do another video um, talking about... Well, actually, I could probably do it on this video. I'll probably do it on this video. I am going to go have a shower and stuff. And then maybe I'll show you. I bought an anniversary cake. Yay! You know what? I haven't bought an anniversary cake since they came out, like, a long time ago. <clears throat> because I haven't liked the colors. The colors are just, they sucked. I just did not like them. Um, this time around, there was a few that I didn't mind. So I decided to get one. Because the one anniversary cake that I did get a long time ago, I actually made a sweater out of it which I believe is a tutorial on my channel, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <clears throat> um, and I actually made a whole sweater, a bomber-style sweater, out of one anniversary cake. I couldn't believe it. So, um, so that was cool. So I'm going to try and do that again with this one and see what happens. <laughs> This dog, uh, she's been by my side the whole time. Look at this. Can somebody explain to me what she's doing? She has her nose right in the, the, um, the dresser as she's sleeping. <laughs> I just don't get her. Weirdo. Bailey. What are you doing? No, oh, she's out. <laughs> Weird dog. So anyways, um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. My throat's sore. <clears throat> oh, anyway. Okay. So I'm going to go and uh, finish off this sweater. Good morning, Yarnabees. So, today's the day. Today's the day that we're moving the shop. I'm still sick. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> it's all congestion. And, um, I had a really rough night last night. I was sweating, and I was coughing, and having nightmares, and Oh, it's terrible. So, I think the stress is really coming out. <clears throat> so, but, um, I have no idea if I talk to you guys about this. This week has kind of been a bit of a blur. Because I've been sick and I've been trying to do things and I'm trying to video and I, I have no idea what I've talked to you guys about anymore. <clears throat> um, a couple days ago, my daughter came with me to the shop, and we got quite a bit done. Uh, today, George is coming to the shop with me. Tia is staying here. And I'm going to stay at the shop and keep packing, and George is going to start hauling stuff out. I want to be out of there by tomorrow and, uh, and be done with it. So, I've been in... My moods have been like this. Um, I've been in a really bad mood for, you know, a lot of it. Um, I'm snarky. I'm just, I'm not able to control my emotions right now because I am sick as well. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's been hard. So, but. We're going to get this done, and I'm going to get the hell out of there, and 
Try and relax. <clears throat> oh, I got some... I didn't tell you about this. That thought. I don't know. Maybe I did tell you about this. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I ordered some more yarn for Chris's sweater. Which I'm making a bit headway on. Um, and then I got this. It's the Loops and Threads Carousel Twist. This is new yarn. I think. Um, it's an acrylic yarn. There's 213 yards. I thought these were going to be bigger. Um, I was kind of disappointed. They are pretty soft. Uh, it's a bulky five, which I don't think it's a bulky five, but, <clears throat> but it's really nice. It's got, um, like some pinks and some purples and, you know, just some nice light little colors. My plan with this is, I, God, I feel like I've talked to you about this. I am so sorry, you guys. I'm, my brain is all over the place, and I can't even focus anymore. Um, my friends, um, Steve and Kathy, their daughter is pregnant, and she's going to be having a baby. Um, and so I thought, I, I'm not one for making baby blankets. I don't normally do that, uh, but I thought maybe I'd try and make a baby blanket for their baby. They're not going to find out what the baby is. It's going to be a surprise. So um, I thought those colors would be pretty neutral. So uh, so I got that, and I've got just got to find a pattern for a blanket that would be suitable for that. Uh, and then I want to try and make one of those those new loveys, the animals that are flat, that have the knotted um, legs and stuff. I can't remember what they're called. But anyways, I thought about making one of those. And uh, I'm making it as a set for them. In my spare time. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I still haven't showed you the other sweater that I finished. I'll have to do that in another video. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. I know, I know. You're going to want to see the shop. I'm going to make that in the next video. <clears throat> because I just, I don't think I'm going to be able to focus at all. Um, let alone film and, and do all that. So, um, yeah. So, thank you for joining me. I love you all. I know this video has been really bad. Because I've been sick through most of it. Um, but after this, after we get the shop closed and I'm feeling better and I'm a little more positive, um, I promise you guys, these will get better. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas um, my mind is already racing, so I'm going to have a lot more time to focus on my channel, and I'm going to have a lot more time to focus on the things I want to do for my channel. I'll be able to get my, my eye, um, my safety eyes done and get them up on my Etsy. I'm going to be opening up a website to everybody because I found out that Square, my POS machine, I found out that I can get a free website through them. I, th I think it's free, but even if it's not, whatever. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, so I'll be able to have an actual website. I didn't want to use Spotify. Um, so yeah, I'm going to look into that. And then I'll be able to sell my stuff on there instead of Etsy. So yeah, because on the Square... You can pay through Square and a whole bunch of other things. I think you can also attach your PayPal to your Square. So I have to look into all that. So I got lots of things coming up that I'm really excited about. Um, 
I think I have something else for the members too. Yeah. Uh, I got a bit of a surprise coming for them as well. So, <clears throat> if you're not a member, there's a button down below. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to go, you guys. I love you all. Thank you for your love and support. And uh, when I come back, it's going to be a new me. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you soon.